Well, hello, friends. Today we are gonna do a port and we are gonna do Figlet. So Figlet was the very first thing I ever got running on Serenity uh, in terms of third-party software, but I haven't been building it for a long, long time. And um, now that we have a port system, I figured I should go back and create a port script for it so that uh, we can, so that anyone can build it. So, let me go and actually get the sources. Um, where can I get it from? Piglet download. Um, source code. Perfect. Uh, and I guess we'll go in Serenity ports and create a Piglet port. And because I don't remember how to write these things from scratch, I will just uh, use this guy. Um, and I will call it figlet.sh. Okay. And I don't need to do all this gunk, but I probably don't need to run fetch web. Oh shit, that was not actually. <laughs> The URL to a tarball is just the URL to here. So, wow, it's barely readable, but um, what is that? Don't you have HTTP? Yeah, that's better. Let's use that. Okay. Oh, come on, Control W. Ugh. Then, oh god, I don't remember what this thing looks like. So we're gonna have to actually, uh -huh. we're gonna have to actually try to do a build here and see what what the package looks like. So there's no configure, <clears throat> but just a make file. So I guess we'll try just something like that. Fatal error. We don't have. WC type that H. Well, I believe you. Let's just say that we have an empty one. Um, where does that go? User include. Okay. Oh, wait, shit. That's the wrong directory. Uh, and then. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Try again. Okay, so you didn't like WC type, and now you are upset about UTF-8 stuff. U char. Okay, so can we build without UTF-8 stuff? Um, let's see what kind of defines they have. Dash D. PLF font. What if we build without that? Oh shit, wait, I didn't mean to build that way. I meant to build this. No, CC. Um, oh, okay, well, I want to start over. Don't want to mix it up with my, why do we have x86-64 output? Where is that coming from? Um, rcrc.o. Oh, wait, hold on. I have to change the LD as well. Right. So LD is a 686 PC Serenity GCC. Hey, it built. And it definitely does not run on Linux, which makes sense. Okay, so <clears throat> what was the trick here to get it to run that we disabled? whatever that option was. Toilet fonts. Okay, well, I guess we want to build without toilet fonts um, for now, because that seems to pull in some UTF-8 stuff. So um, if we do without that, then we're all good. <clears throat> Let's check that and install actually works. 
So that would be home address, source, serenity, root, stop. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and can we fickle it? Hello. Yes, we can. Cool. But, so we're going to need a little patch for the make file. Um, ba -ba -bam. So let's call this uh, patched. And then we will just uh, do this. Because <laughs> I'm a bit lazy, so we are just going to diff like this. Make file and figlet 2225 patched. Make file. That's our patch. Uh, we're going to call it uh, figlet, no tlf, toilet font, patch. Do we call the other ones diff or patch? We'll call them patch. Okay. Um, and then figlet.sh. Um, don't need to do any configure steps, actually. I guess it can just be that. But we do need to apply some patches. So how the heck do we do that? I'm just gonna cheat and look in the bin utils one. Okay, so run patch. Um, oh, but that one is using. Uh, I want to see something that uses a local patch. Okay, here. So figlet snow toilet font dot patch dash p one. And then we just run make, um, but we can't just run make. We have to pass cc and ld. And then we run make install. I think run make install is supposed to um, do the right thing for us. Make install opt test here. Maybe it doesn't. Okay, we have to do that ourselves. Fine. Uh, oh no, hold on. We set it up up here. So port dear is figlet. And this is the install opt. So this will happen automatically. Oops. So maybe this is the whole port script. So fetch the tarball, apply our little patch to the make file, nothing to do in configure, and then we just build and install. Okay, so let's remove everything and see how it works. So the way you run one of these scripts is that you just run it like that, and it doesn't work because why not? Um, 12, I guess this is, oh, maybe I can't do that. Can't have that empty file. Configure and configure not found. Okay, so what if you don't have a configure step? Um, can you just do that? Twelve. Nothing. You have to do something in the body. Nothing. Um, no configure script. And I think that was the whole thing. So basically, the way the port system works is that you just run the port script, and then you have to run sync in the um, Serenity kernel directory, like you always do anyway. And then once you run, then whatever port you installed should be showing up in user local bin. So uh, here's a whole bunch of shit uh, that I installed previously, but we can see that figlet and figlist are right here. So figlist, what does that do? I don't even know what's in there, figlist. Oh, it's a shell script. Well, we, we can't do shell scripts yes, just yet. Maybe we can run it like this though. Oh, that didn't work that well. Oh, I guess we don't have dear name. Permission denied to dev null. 
We should probably make that writable for anyone. That's so stupid. Um, okay, well, let's, let's not to figure out right now, but um, we'll do that slash figlet. Foo, that works. So we have a functional port. Cool. So let's add figlet, figlet.sh, and figlet, figlet something patch. Status and commit ports. Add figlet port. This was the very was the first piece of third party software that got running when I was running. So having it as a port uh, feels like some kind of milestone. I think. Cool. Very cool. Let's, uh, let's see that see that uh, thing again. All right, that's clear and piglet. Hello, friends. Very nice. All right. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. I just never got around to it. So now we have a piglet port in the tree. That's awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so I think that's it for this video. I just wanted to make a quick one uh, throwing together a Figlet port just because it's been on my on my mind for a long time. So if you made it here, then thank you for watching and for hanging out. And um, see you next time.